Guys are going under the big. From not being able to dunk in his senior year of high school to almost getting arrested for Twitter fingers, here are 12 facts you didn't know about Ja Moran. It's no secret that Ja is one of the many ascending young superstars in the NBA. From the Rookie of the Year campaign in 2020, the back to back All Star appearances, the inhuman highlight dunk reels, to trash talking Warriors players on Twitter. He has been a hot commodity in the basketball world and has taken the league by storm. But what if I told you that wasn't always that way for Ja? Growing up in a small town in South Carolina, he went to Crestwood High School where he joined South Carolina's elite in basketball. Averaging 27 points, 8 rebounds and 8 assists and was the three-time all-region MVP. So why was he so overlooked in high school? And why didn't he become popular like other young studs like Zion Williamson who had played high school ball in the same area? There are multiple reasons for this. For starters, Ja didn't participate in major AAU events like most big-time high school players do. Here's the catch though. Ja couldn't even dunk until his senior year, which is actually insane considering how high his vertical reach is dunking the basketball during games. He was 5'9", 130 pounds in his first three years. I guess he had a late growth spurt, or he's taken the secret stuff Michael Jordan had in Space Jam. Seriously though, I'ma need some of that for real. Crazy to think that a player of that caliber goes unnoticed, but money talks, and unfortunately, not everyone gets the spotlight. Perhaps the biggest reason for Joss' growth spurt is his dad, T. Moran. Other than the fact that he looks like Usher's doppelganger, I mean, come on, they literally look like twins, is that the intense training he puts his son through. In one article, he said that he had him do separation drills, step back shots, and increase his strength and agility with resistance training and parachute drills. The craziest part? Pops bought him tractor tires to practice jumping with a soft landing. Even bought wooden planks to make them higher. All this undersized 16-year-old seems ridiculous. Shoot, when I was a teenager, I barely got up for school. But make no mistake, T was teammates with Ray Allen in high school and played college ball at Claflin University. He's no stranger to this. He wants his son to become what he failed to be, an NBA player. The perks of being the son of a former athlete. Genetics. During his recruitment, Ja didn't have any offers. Like, at all. An undersized kid from a small school in South Carolina doesn't really attract much scouts, obviously. Once upon a time, Ja was one of the last accepted players to be on basketball camp. During the camp, in comes Murray State assistant coach James Kane. Kane was there to watch another player in the camp. As the days went along, Kane was hungry and wanted to grab a snack. But a quick trip to the concession stands turned into finding gold at the end of the rainbow. Kane noticed Ja when he was in a 3v3 game. From there, he saw him display his raw, explosive athletic skills up close and absolutely destroyed the competition. His jaw-dropping performance had Kane in awe. It was so good that he even called head coach Matt McMahon to see it for himself. When McMahon arrived at the camp, they both knew how special he was and didn't hesitate to offer him a full scholarship. McMahon and Kane developed a strong relationship, not only to him, but with his family as well. Sounds cliche, like straight out of a movie like Hustle on Netflix. Despite later getting offers from big-time schools like Duke, Arizona, Kentucky, and Kansas, he decided to accept Murray State's offer. His reasoning was he appreciated them for being the first ones to offer him and discover his talents before everyone else did. Shows the type of person Ja is. Hard worker with crazy athleticism, who appreciates the people around him and doesn't give in to the fame and popularity of a 4-5 to five star recruit. Coming from a poor background, Ja appreciates hard workers that grind every day just to get livelihood. That includes waiters. In a documentary, he and his boys were eating at a restaurant in Dallas. When the waitress found the amount, she thought it was a mistake. That's the team that ball playing, John. That's him. <laughs> in an interview with Taylor Rooks, he confirmed he has done this at, at every restaurant he's been to. After signing a $193 million contract extension, he can give out all the $500 tips he wants. From dishing out money to dishing rap bangers, 
Ja has been featured on many song covers. From J. Cole's My Life featuring 21 Savage to Lloyd Banks' Death by Design and Moneybag Yo's Rookie of the Year. But most recently, he did a music video with Lil Baby. This song was a promotional bit for Beats by Dre. The song itself was all about Ja himself. Most of it was his upbringing and the grind to the top. The two do have a friendship together. As Lil Baby said, Ja has been one of my favorite players to watch. We've been locked in. We all know that Ja can hoop in the court, but when it came to the golf course, it didn't turn out too well. In 2019, Ja was spotted golfing in Florida. He was seen practicing his golf swing. It looked a bit rough. He constantly swung and missed on almost every try, and his form was terrible. Yikes. He looked like a little kid trying to hit the ball out there. Some might even compare it to Charles Barkley. That's when you know you're bad. Ja tweeted, I'm a basketball and baseball player, with a laughing face and shrugging emojis. Fast forward two years later, when Ja was again taking golf lessons, this time on IG Live. He and fellow Grizzlies teammate DeAndre Melton were showing off their putting skills. All of them were cracking jokes and trash talking for the most part. Interview with Taylor Rooks, he said he would beat Tiger Woods. We all know he's capping, but you gotta admire the confidence, I guess. Just stick to the hoops, Ja. We all know that Ja is the best dunker in the NBA, but how come he hasn't been part of the dunk contest? During the 2023 All-Star Weekend, Ja was on the podium during media day when he was asked if he would participate in the contest. Ja responded, I'm not doing the dunk contest, and added it would take a billion likes on social media for him to do it. His reasoning behind it was he was locked in and focused on the season ahead by racking up as many wins as possible for the playoff push. Ja isn't also a fan of the way they judge the contest. He suggested that the dunks should be judged by the difficulty of the dunk and how they make it look easy when it's really not. He said he tried to do some of the dunks in the gym above 10 tries to actually do that specific dunk. The main lesson is we take these dunks for granted and don't understand how hard it is actually to attempt and execute the dunk, especially on the first try. Could you imagine him and Mac McClung in the dunk contest? That would be the greatest contest of all time. After the Grizzlies got eliminated against the Warriors in the playoffs, Ja was getting a lot of hate from fans and even players on Twitter. Warriors rookie Jonathan Kaminga tweeted, whoop that, with a silly face emoji. Ja barked back saying, gotta earn your stripes, kid. Ja was three years older than Kaminga, but calling him kid seems it's amateur art since he's only been in the league one year more than him. But things got really heated when Ja responded to a troll in the comments. After exchanging insults, Ja ended the roast session by saying, It's free to see how hollows feel. Hollows is a slang for bullets from guns, essentially threatening to kill him. Seems like he took it personally. For number 11, we see the gangsta side of Ja. Allegedly. When the Memphis Grizzlies played the Indiana Pacers in a regular season game in late January, Ja's close friend, Devontae Pack, literally walked onto the court and cussed out the whole Pacers team. He was immediately thrown out of the building and even called arena security to escort him out. Talk about being a gangster. After the game, Devontae and other group friends were seen in two parked cars near the Pacers team bus. They immediately got out of the car and were threatening the players and staff members saying, come get some of this, or you don't know how we roll. Talk about some real gangster. Man's trying to be like Denzel Washington in training day. The crazy part of this was two members of the Pacers said they saw a laser with a gun being pointed out from one of the cars, and that might have even been Ja himself. Boy, that escalated quickly. We still don't know if he was actually him, but the NBA has begun an investigation, and Ja himself has denied the accusations, saying this was false. Did you know that Ja's real name is not actually Ja? His full name is Demetrius Jamel Moran. Ja is a shorter nickname from Jamel, Seems fitting, since his so many jaw-dropping plays. NBA players are very interesting, and they have a completely different life off the court. Prime example, Steph Curry. Click this video for 8 things you didn't know about Steph Curry.